they lived together before they actually got engaged. So being the gentleman that he is, I'm not going to say any names, he goes and asks her father for her hand in marriage. And the dad said, yeah, but I wish you would have asked if you could live with my daughter before you guys actually moved in yeah. together. It was like, pow. <laughs> like, <laughs> So what so, did he say? Did he ever come so back, the kid? He didn't. He was just like, uh, he was like, calm down, son, calm down. Yes, you can marry my daughter. Yes, you can marry oh, my daughter. So uh, it's, I think it's a very sweet tradition. It is old school. I agree. But I think it breaks, um, especially if there's any father-in-law to be son-in-law relationship tension. Mm -hmm. I think it takes the edge off of that. I and then so. I think it's something that you will hear. I was just talking to Randy off camera. I don't know. You have your mic. We we're just Maybe talking about this. And I think that what it does, it'll be a story that you will have with your father-in-law. Yeah. Because you did that when you asked for your... What, 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 here's what happened. I asked my father-in-law, uh, Mary Carmen, and so he sweet. said, and he said, can you take her right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it saved me a lot of money. Oh, no. and, and, I, and I said that uh, my wife wouldn't go with that. But um, when my daughter got <laughs> engaged, it was her 30th birthday party. So they called me out in the hallway, said, we've got a problem in the hallway. And I said, well, maybe something's wrong. Long story short, uh, he got me up to. He says, "Look, I want to ask your daughter to marry me. You know, what do you think about that?" And you know, he said, I, "I got a question for you." He pulled the ring out. I said, "I already have a wife." So I said, "I mean, I, I mean you, you can't marry you can't right, marry me." So right. he, he wanted to ask. Her. So I said, "Well, what do you do?" I said, well, "He said, what do you want me to do?" I said, "Well, when you go out there, I said you just call her up and, and thank everybody for coming to the party, and then ask her." So my wife didn't know her, and so when they he dropped on one knee, they ran him over. They ran him oh. over to get to uh, Randy, Aww. and then uh, he, she did say yes, and they've been married three That's years. That's great. That's awesome. But he asked your permission. But he asked my permission. Both did of them did. you ask permission? Yeah. Uh, I did, and okay. so did uh, so did my daughter's uh, husband, my first daughter to get married. So I think Check I think it, it is we old school. school. We old school. I think old it is old school. Yeah. But I think it's, we're still chivalry. talking about it. Right. We still think it's a good thing. Anyway. I like it. All right, thanks, All right. thank you. Peace. So we give it a thumbs up. <laughs> That's what we say. We give it a thumbs up. All right, we got a lot going on around the D this weekend. There are some big names that are in town Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's right. We, as we mentioned, Friday night, Sam Hunt is at DTE Energy Music Theater. That'll be a great concert. I think so. And speaking of. And speaking of. John Legend. Oh, come on. He's at Meadowbrook right. Theater Friday night at 8. That's tomorrow night. And Bone Thugs and Harmony. Jay can't wait for this concert. Mm -hmm. Our producer is at the Fillmore Saturday at 8 p.m. I'm just kidding. And DT <laughs> Energy Music Theater on Sunday. How about Nickelback nice. bringing their tour to town? That sounds yeah. like a, that's going to be a that's fun pack. Well, weekend. this is the season for that, too. You mentioned weddings, but I mean, we've got we got big names coming in all the time here now over the that's summer. Fun. Our partners at the Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe and Gross Point Farms tonight. We've got uh, Scott Gwinnell, who's playing. Yes, he's performed with the likes of Aretha Franklin and oh. Vanessa Williams. Oh. Very impressive. There are two shows tonight at 6 p.m. and 8.30. No cover. And then tomorrow on Saturday night, Dave Bennett is performing. The clarinet prodigy brings the sounds of Benny Goodman to life. That's 6 p.m. and 8.30, both nights, just so you know about Showtime. Yeah, and cover is just $15. For more information and to reserve seats for these shows, visit the website DirtyDogJazz.com. And then it's dubbed as the ultimate celebration of geek culture, not Greek, geek culture. It's uh, the Craft.com Festival. It's over in Clawson. It is this Friday and Saturday. All right, so let's let's what lay it out geek, for you. How do I have to put my geek on? What this do you have to do? This is how it goes. It yeah. combines craft beer sampling uh -huh. along with cosplay, meaning you dress up as your favorite comic character. Oh, I get it now. Right, so I drink beer okay. and dress up as Wonder Woman. That's the right. thing. Who would you be? Well, if I had enough beer, I guess it'd be Wonder Woman. There. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, but you, <laughs> everyone is cracking up in here. What? But can you know, is that but the just, wrong answer? Are we live? Yes, we're live. Are we live? Can you hear me out there? So funny. But you can also just. I don't just, know. <laughs> Who would you be, Randy? He doesn't know. Batman. Batman. That's a good one. That's right. what I would have said, actually. Okay, not Wonder Woman. Right. But you can also just attend and enjoy the beverages, craft fair. Free kids zone and much, much more. Mm -hmm. It's free um, to enter and happens in downtown Clawson. Is that starting your favorite price night. of all? Free 99. Right. My favorite. Well, you know, it may not be the season for football, but your child can learn from a, a Detroit Lion who's also a big friend of this show. It's all happening this weekend. That's right. Our friend Lomas Brown is hosting his free, 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 free football oh, camp for high schoolers. It's happening at Northwestern High School in Detroit this Saturday at 8 a.m. Uh, you do have to register, even though it's free, and this is for kids grades 8 through 12. Lunch is provided. 
but you need to bring your cleats and your helmets. Quarterbacks are asked to bring their favorite football as well. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Pretty and again, cool. it's free. We love free. All right, we've got a stash that's not going to be so secret in just a second. That's right. You want to do the honors there? It's dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've got tickets. Dun, dun. Uh huh. Something really special yeah, to make yeah. you laugh and you help a great cause. What too. do they get, Chuck Gatica? Seth Meyers is coming to town, and you know it's going to be a night of laughs. NBC's late night host Seth Meyers coming in, and this is all to help Forgotten Harvest. That's right. right. Meyers is headlining the 25th annual Comedy Night benefiting for Forgotten Harvest, like Chuck said. And the show is this Saturday at 8 o'clock at the Fox Theater in Detroit. And these are great seats, you guys. Great seats on the main floor. So Forgotten Harvest is Metro Detroit's only food rescue organization working to feed the hungry. And you know what to do for your chance to win a pair of these tickets? No. Uh -huh. You go to the Live in the D Facebook page. Oh for your chance so go ahead and enter rules are posted at click on detroit.com is there any group with a pure mission there's so many great groups but i mean they find somebody that makes some food and they have extra and whatever and they pick it up and they take it and they move it to people who need food i mean simple thank concept. you forgotten harvest yes all right still ahead on live in the d where to find great deals for father's day that's right and up next it's one of the biggest festivals in michigan you don't want to miss this Hey, we want to say hi to our Live in the D friend of the day. This is Maggie Brantley. She's from Southfield. She has won a Kroger gift card. Yay! She also knows how to take a bomb selfie. Good yeah. job, Maggie. If you want to be our Live in the D fan of the day, just follow the link on our Live in the D Facebook page. Contest rules are at clickondetroit.com. You'll find them under the Scene on 4 tab. We'll be right back. Tomorrow on Live in the D. Well, barbecue is a staple on Father's Day, and we are taking you to one place where they're serving up some of the best in the D. That's tomorrow at 10 a.m. right here on Live in the D. One of the biggest festivals in the state is just around the corner, the National Cherry Festival. It's up in Traverse City. You, everybody, you and yours are invited to pack up <laughs> Head north and take part. That's right. And to tell us more about it, we have none other than the Cherry Festival Queen <laughs> herself, right here on behalf of our partner, Traverse City Tourism, Abby Kaufman. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Your Highness, what do we call you? I'm, I just want to make sure. That <laughs> just well, just Abby, Abby is fine, but okay. at the Cherry Festival, it's usually Queen Abby, which is exciting. Come on. <laughs> really? Oh, oh there yeah. You go. All right. <laughs> Describe to us the National Cherry Festival. Well, there's an event for everyone. Let me tell you, we have over 150 events with 90% of them being free. So we have something for everyone, something for the family, something for adults who are looking for a quiet getaway. But really, um, it's a, just a great time for all, and I'd encourage everyone to come. It's kind of like Disney World in northern Michigan. So. With an air show that is just oh, awesome. Absolutely. We have a couple days of air shows, so if you miss yeah. it the first one, come for the next one, or be a super fan and be there for all of them. This is right, exciting. Good so absolutely. It's good for families, like you said, but mm -hmm. now tell us, what have you brought? Well, we have a little bit of everything here for you. Um, of course, we have to start with our signature cherry wine. Um, it's owned by the festival, so it's a great option for adults. We also have some awesome farmer market products. We have cherry juice, which is awesome for post-workout relief. Hmm. Um, it's super healthy, super loaded. It's filled with a lot of antioxidants. Absolutely, yeah. yes. It's kind of a super fruit. We also have the dried cherries, which, of course, you can incorporate into anything you could so imagine. We have our signature cherry crumb pie, my personal favorite from Grand Traverse Pie Company. Is that different than the other? cherry crumb pie or just one is out of the oh. box because we were well, talking we're wondering which one we get yeah I'm yeah. thinking that maybe you could have a couple of pieces too for okay. yourself so the box one I'm sure is great but these ones are just for you all so awesome. we were having the big crumb versus crust debate <laughs> oh, yeah. pie was very favorite? deep yes crumb, crumb I like top. crust yeah, like crumb. Crumb. Sure. Oh, okay yeah. and I like crumbs so you can have the crust and we'll share the there you go okay. <laughs> that good. so Perfect. your reign is the queen mm -hmm. uh, entails do you make appearances now because obviously yeah. you gotta have a wave oh yeah I just have a fun wave. I'm okay, not too good. formal. <laughs> um, we do make appearances all throughout the year. So our year begins in July when you're crowned and ends again in July. Okay. So it's been a wild year. I'm just at different agricultural shows, meeting with growers, different things like that. Sure. I had the opportunity to give the governor a pie, which was a really exciting time. Everything just happened at and it aligned. So we passed the pie off to the governor. It was a lot of fun. That is so cool. Awesome. Yeah. We should uh, we should <laughs> mention that the air show, which is up in Traverse City, uh, that's associated that we've been talking about, yeah. Blue Angels this year. It's not every year. Well, we had the Blue Angels last year which okay. was awesome yeah. they're a really great bunch and this year we actually have a whole bunch of people coming oh so it's not
not the Blue Angels. Yeah, not the Blue Angels okay, this okay. year. They'll be back the following. So we're really fortunate to have the Thunderbirds joining us. Beautiful. And they are a great show, one that everybody absolutely loves. That's the loves. Air Force. Yes. Yeah, group. Yep, we have them. And then also a group from Canada is coming as well. Oh, Exciting. my gosh. So what's your favorite part of the festival? Oh, that's so hard to say. I love the parades. Um, I think it brings the community together in a really awesome way. And it's just all come full circle for me. I was once a little girl on the side of the road waving to the queen. And now it's my turn. So it's fun to see our community come together and celebrate this awesome tradition that we have. And what's next for you in real life? You're a student. <laughs> yep, in yeah. real life. I have one more year and I graduate from Central Michigan University and hopefully I could become a teacher. I'm crossing my fingers Traverse City might take me back, but we'll have to see. Oh, good for you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Thank great. you. Yeah. All right, so uh, one more time about the festival. Give us a yes. reminder. The festival is July 1st through the 8th, so you're not going to want to miss it. Um, you can book everything from hotel rooms and see more that Traverse City has to offer at TraverseCity.com. Also, there are more specific dates and events and things like that on the National Cherry Festival website at Cherry Festival. Org. That's right. Beautiful. Like she said, to find out more information about the National Cherry Festival, visit the website cherryfestival.org. And for more information about all there is to do in the Traverse City region, visit the website traversecity.com. Abby, much success Thank in you life. So much. Thanks for coming Thank by. You. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Enjoy your pie. You. Here. <laughs> and next on Live in the D, Tech Toys, the great outdoors, style, grilling, great last minute gift ideas for dad that won't break the bank. And that's coming up next. But first, let's get a check on the weather. Oh, that was a good guitar riff right there. All right, let's move on. Uh, 76 degrees at Metro, starting to steam up a little bit here. We have humidity on the rise. It's cooler with cloud cover and rain cooled air up in our north zone, but that rain is leaving. You see the thicker clouds there getting some hazy sunshine. Can't rule out an isolated shower or two, but it, as this little frontal boundary to our west gets closer and closer, it will be the trigger and spark for a few more showers and storms. 86 and humid, you'll be feeling it out there and sweating. After 2 o'clock, though, eyes to the skies. Evrod, we've got a chance for a couple of showers and storms that could produce some damaging wind and hail, so we will be keeping an eye on it. All righty, thank you, Brandon. Let's get into your headlines right now as the search for answers continues as after a 40 year old man was shot on Detroit's west side. The shooting happening around 3 this morning during an attempted carjacking. Police say two suspects approached the car demanded that he give up his car and then shot that man in the leg. Right now, police are looking for a 2005 lime green Chevy Tahoe. If you see that car or know anything about the shooting, please contact Detroit police. We'll be back in another, another 30 minutes. We'll have a news headline for you then, a news update. In the meantime, Live the D continues right after these messages. That's right, it is another hot day in the city, everyone. How's that lawn looking outside after this string of hot weather? Hope it's on its way back. Thanks for being with us on Live in the D. If you're looking for a great gift for Father's Day, we're on countdown, right? We're all thinking about it for dad, for grandpa, for, well, kids for me. Attention, everybody at home. <laughs> Melissa Morang is here with our partner at Great Lakes Crossing Outlets. Good to see you. Good to see you. As always. Thanks for having us. Bringing in some great ideas for us to think about and trying to keep everybody on a budget. Yes. That's important. Yes. So yeah. we're going to make it super easy for you. We've got some great gift ideas for okay. dad. Okay. You want me to go this way? Sure. That'd all be right, great. All right. Let's see what's here. So let's start off right here from Bass Pro Shop. They have this insect repellent technology clothes. So for that outdoorsy wow. dad in your life or outdoorsy grandpa, you've got some shirts and pants. And the pants are really cool because they actually have a zipper on them and they turn into shorts. Let me take this off because yeah. I have I have a pair of these. These Did are you? great. Like you, well, if you're yeah. going hiking or you're going on an expedition or whatever, so yeah, uh, you know, or it, with Michigan weather where it's cold right. in the morning and then warmer in the afternoon, turn so it works out perfect. Shorts. I don't but know who invented the idea. But insect it's repellent in there. So the wow. yeah. Yeah, it's really great. And then Bass Pro has this new line. It's called Mr. Steak. So, of course, the grilling dad. So, it's perfect for any. Yeah. Um, so, they've got these pit paws here, which are great. You can um, grab your food or anything hot on the grill. Okay. This is really neat. What you have in your hand there is a temperature gauge and actually has four prongs. So, you can get all four steaks temperature gauge at once, not just one at a time. So, so. the pins are markers then. Yes. So, once you've gauged the temp, you can. Yes. Oh, that's yes. brilliant. So, it's really great. Spices, okay. you've got a four 
four piece knife set here. These grill covers are really nice too because they're disposable as well. So those yeah. are really great. So all kinds of great gift ideas from Mr. Bass Pro. Steak. Mr. I've always Steak. wanted to be that guy. You will. Hang you on, can, can be I, that can guy. Can I just try it on really Are you quick? a grilling dad? I am there a grilling you go. dad. We just talked about that at the top of the show. Cutting boards, all kinds of things. Mr. Yeah. Steak. If you wear the hat, You've got to be Mr. State. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, anybody can question it, but you're Mr. State. You got there the hat. Go. Yeah. Bass Pro Shop can't go okay, wrong, good. right? So then you move on to Fossil okay. for the stylish dad in your life. We've got an Evan backpack here, an Evan travel case. Uh, there's a toiletry bag there, and then they have gorgeous watches. So they have um, beautiful watches of all different styles that you can pick from. Um, the automatic watches actually they never require a battery ever to change, so that's nice. Okay. Um, wallets, beautiful leather wallets that they have, and they actually have linings in them to protect your credit cards too, so that you know people can't scan mm -hmm. it or anything. Mm -hmm. And then a watch, um, beautiful watch box here for those dads who wear a lot of watches, and they can uh, put that collection. But you know what's nice there, about so. yeah, what's nice about this? Let me sneak in here and just yes. show. If you are a dad and you tend and Fossil, we should say, is a you know a nicely priced watch. It's affordable, yes. right? Yes, very affordable. So if affordable. you do want to collect watches and you're doing this in an affordable way, having a box like this is a great idea. It Absolutely. Keeps them out of the dust and all the rest. Yeah. It is. It is. So great gift ideas from Fossil. Okay. Can't go wrong for that stylish dad. All right. And then we move up to Amazon pop up for that techie dad. And I know you like this yeah, kind of stuff yeah. too, right? So. I like all of it so far. So keep going. <laughs> You've got the Echo and the Echo Dot, which is really great of course you can talk to Alexa um, sure. most people are familiar about it but if you're not Alexa is somebody that you can talk to you can ask her questions you can ask her you know read the news ask her what the score updates are for different sports teams you mm -hmm. can even hook it up to your utilities and um, change the, the the lights on and lights off in your house it's really neat echo dot as well and then they have the Amazon tap which is um, Bluetooth, it's a Bluetooth speaker and you just tap it, it's hands free. Um, it's really a great Those gift idea. Those are great for taking to the beach or just heading out. Maybe you've got a little boat in the backyard up north. When you go out by the dock, the just bring your music. And the it. sound's amazing. It, it, it really, really is. is. Yeah. And the best part about this, Chuck, is that the Amazon pop-up store at Great Lakes um, has a great sale going on for all of these ideas through Sunday for uh, for Father's Day, okay. so like the Echo Dot is normally one seventy nine ninety nine, and now it's down to one thirty nine ninety nine. So oh, that's perfect great. gift Good idea, time. right? Yeah. And then you have Game Day Detroit for, for that sporting dad in your life. And we support our sports teams in Detroit, right? We do. <laughs> we do in a half, yeah. So they've got great sporting banners like the Tigers banner. You've got Lions um, jerseys, great Detroit Tigers t-shirts, wide variety. You've got the um, Red Wings jerseys, all kinds of great ideas yeah. for that sporting dad in your life. So, um, so Game Day Detroit. Okay. And then we move on to Max is one of our newest restaurants at uh, Great Lakes. So you can take dad out for dinner. Well, we do get hungry. Yes. I mean, that's why my wife knows I'm going to come home eventually. I'm going to get hungry. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Take him out for dinner. There's a lot of um, specials that they have every day of the week. But you can also take them to um, AMC Movie Theater at Great Lakes. Go see a movie, then go to dinner, show them your stub, and you actually get a special deal. If um, So take dad out to dinner and go see a movie. I mean, Very cool. And then if you can't... Find anything for dad out of the 185 stores that we have. There's always a gift card, so you can let him go shopping. Well, right? we should point out anybody who's ever gone there, and if you haven't, I encourage you, Great Lakes Crossing Outlets, you could go with dad. You because could. Because sometimes their kids are stuck. I'm stuck. Right. You know, they're Take asking, dad. well, what do I do? Well, maybe I should just go for a walk and go. Sure. I like that. You can go to Sea Life, yeah. go to the movies, all kinds of stuff. Good just stuff. go shopping. Good to Thank see you, as you. always. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Great Lakes Crossing Outlets are located at 4000 Baldwin Road in Auburn Hills to see all the stores, restaurants, and other attractions, check out their website. Hmm? It's greatlakescrossingoutlets.com. Tati? Another idea, if you're looking for gifts that your dad can really sink his teeth into, how about some incredible edible gifts? Al Robinson is vice president of our partner Edible Arrangements Metro Detroit Group, and you opened up the very first store in the state of Michigan in Troy. Yes. That's right. Well, congratulations yes. on all Thank your success. You. So now today we're talking about Father's Day. You're a father yourself, right? Yep. So let's take a look at this picture that you sent over to us. 
Beautiful family. Tell us who's all in here. Oh, uh, we got my wife, Leslie, who's uh, my partner in the brains of the operation. And then we have David, Jessica, and Christopher. And that was David's graduation last year from uh, Troy High School. Awesome, awesome. So even though you're in this business, wouldn't you love getting one of these as a gift for Father's Day? I do, it's a pleasure every day to, to uh, do this. All right, so let's talk through what you brought here. Okay, this uh, in the golf, uh, uh, container is our all-star arrangement. It has chocolate-covered pineapples, uh, cantaloupe, honeydew, and strawberries. It's very tasty, very fun. Uh, but the key thing is that you know the, the uh, golf container can be used for many other things outside of uh, after you've consumed the product. Okay, nice. And then you've got something for everything. You've got something for the baseball dad, the NBA basketball dad, the soccer dad, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, football. And then our newest thing, oh, we I'm also. Sorry, is that football? No, no, oh, that's, okay, a that's a basketball. basketball but we have a football one. We didn't. We forgot <laughs> right. to bring that one. You me out. So all right. So for basketball. all the dads out there, so you could how else could you customize some of these? Well, so our newest thing is our, our barbecue grill there. Okay. And so as we know, uh, Father's Day dads don't get all the love that they deserve, but on right. Father's Day they can get you can give them a grill and then you can send them out to cook. So uh, you, you can customize it with chocolate covered strawberry, chocolate covered fruit. Uh, we have all kind of fruit at this time of year with mango, kiwi, pineapple. So it's an awesome array of fruit that we offer. Good time of year for fruit, right? Yes. And then we've got the usual. Yeah, so this is it's unusual this year because it's a chocolate celebration box. And what we've done differently is we're able to customize the chocolate on the strawberries to any color that you want. Hmm. So this year, obviously, is, I mean, for Father's Day, it's obviously blue. If I can show um, these to these guys, I'll pick up one and show you. So. Okay. Chocolate covered strawberry, but customized for dad with blue stripes. Right. But we can do any color that you want. So if you have a favorite college team or a pro team, we can do, do those colors as well. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So are you guys open on Father's Day? That's the big deal because you know people like to wait till the last minute. How does all of that work? Yeah, we're open on Father's Day. We'll be open at 8 o'clock in the morning and we'll go as long as we need to. Um, so you can order same day pickup or delivery. All right. Um, but obviously ordering earlier is better. So okay. whatever works for you, we'll, we'll, we'll meet. All right. So what other summer treats do you guys offer? Uh, so the other summer treats that we have is we have uh, chocolate smooth, I mean smoothies, uh, yeah. edible can uh, fruit, so you can buy the fruit individually, um, as well as yogurt, uh, froyo type yogurt as well. So we have a lot of cool things that that you can try and, and satisfy your everyday cravings. All right, sounds good. So to find an edible arrangement store nearest to you and to place an order and see all that they have to offer, visit their website edible.com or check them out on Facebook. Search Edible Arrangements Metro Detroit Group. Good stuff. This fruit smells beautiful, you guys. I wish you could smell it. Thanks for being with us.